Hey, um, I just wanted to talk about this, uh, this in inherent problem in Christianity that exists. Um, because it's, it's pretty counterproductive, um, to what they want to do at least. Um, genetically anyways, if you had a crop, you'd want to take the best of the crop and, and every next crop you'd want to keep using the best seeds, the seeds from the best plant. Christianity is sort of doing the opposite, and they're going to pretty much destroy their gene pool by doing this, this and basically they're trying to preach chastity and a restraint from sexual, sexual drives and such. But what they're doing is they're taking their most chaste, their most sexually pure, right, the ones that are, have the most self-restraint, and they're putting them in the clergy, and they can't pass on their seed, they can't have kids. So what's the gene pool left with? Right? And this has been happening for, for thousands of years now, 2,000 years almost. Um, what do you think happens? You take all of your most sexually pure, and the next clergy has to come from whoever can't, can't be in the, the clergy. Right? And so what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up demoralizing your, your gene pool. You're going to take people that are, have very strong sexual urges, and that's going to be the basis of your gene pool. And you're going to take these people with strong sexual urges, throw them into the clergy, and say, hey, don't have sex. And here are these people in the clergy with very strong sexual urges, and they can't, they have no way to release it. And so what's going to happen? Well, we've already started seeing it. The molesting children and I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not really intelligent to to base a your your law structure around degrading your gene pool away from your values. I mean, if you wanted to do something in the opposite direction, it might be better to uphold your values. I mean, take force the clergy members to have children, and the ones that are the most holy and able to have sexual restraint, force them, and then. All the ones who who can't restrain themselves make them have abortions. <laughs> I mean, that's the most which you're not allowing them to do. So I mean, I wouldn't be surprised uh, about this this over over sexual uh, gene pool that that you're trying to create here. And I mean, this is only two thousand years. If you want your your religion to stay for another two thousand, ten thousand years. How long are you going to try to keep it around? Um, so what's your your gene pool going to end up like? I mean, you're just going to keep degrading it and degrading it until you just fall apart. So something to think about.